Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video, I'm going to be giving you my updated answer to the popular question of is ChatGPT Plus worth it in 2024? And the reason I'm making this updated video is I actually have a video with this exact topic from a month ago, but unfortunately when OpenAI announced the release of GPT-40 to the public for free, which is their most advanced and sophisticated model, unfortunately that made my video now outdated as I had so many comments from you guys watching this saying, you know, is this updated? Is this relevant still with GPT-40? Uh, so I tried to make a pinned comment directing people to another video, but then I just sat back and I thought, well, why don't I just make another video giving you my updated take on is ChatGPT Plus still worth it now with the addition of GPT-40? So right away, if we head over to the pricing page on OpenAI, I'm going to quickly list through the updated features that you get with ChatGPT Plus versus the free version. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below, along with everything else that I mentioned, so you guys can quickly access this. Now, my quick answer to that question, like anything in AI or marketing, honestly, is it depends. I am a current member, paid member of ChatGPT Plus because I use the tool every day. And that's the kind of the analysis here that I'm going to give you is that if you're a frequent user of ChatGPT, I would suggest getting the paid version for only $20 a month, which isn't a lot to most people or companies bottom line is I'm assuming a lot of companies will be willing to pay for their employees to use a tool like this. So let's get back into it here. What exactly do you get with the paid version of ChatGPT versus just the free version? And number one is this early access to new features. Now this, this hasn't changed. This has always been part of the selling point here of ChatGPT+. And where this really matters, in my opinion, is maybe number one, there's a new language model in the works, whether it's GPT-5. I'm not sure if that's going to be available to free members or even Sora. Maybe Sora somehow gets integrated into ChatGPT and that's only available for plus users. So that's really the only thing that I can think of. That's not a huge deal, in my opinion. But if it's something like a Sora or a GPT-5, that could be worthwhile. You also get access to three language models, GPT-4, I believe that's the turbo version, uh, GPT-4.0, of course, and 3.5, which still sucks in my opinion. Now you do get access to 3.5 and GPT-4.0, but the important thing to call out here is this word limited, limited access to GPT-4.0. As you'll see here on the plus version, you get up to five times more messages for GPT-4.0, which if you're using this tool every day actually does matter. And it's a big deal because if you're not on the paid version, you're trying to use GPT-4.0, you're gonna get booted off very quickly. You can't check back for hours, uh, sometimes days if you're using it too much. So if you're using this tool every single day, like I stated, $20 a month is worth the investment if you're leveraging this tool. Now you also get access to data analysis, file uploads, vision, and web browsing. So why is that important? So that's basically the vision component of ChatGPT. So uploading a PDF, uploading an image, having it summarize that for you, having it analyze that for you. Um, also data analysis. So data analysis is kind of a newer feature. I believe it came out a month ago with GPT-40 as part of what it can do. Um, you can also create charts and graphs now. If you give it a set of data, you can allow GPT-40 to create pie charts for you. Now, I'm not sure if I have one ready to go here. I'm gonna go back to my account. I actually have one open right here. So on GPT-40 or the premium version, it not only does this data research for you, similar to what you can get with Perplexity AI, for example, um, but it can also create these interactive charts and graphs, which is a very cool feature in my opinion. If you, if you have a lot of data, you just wanna help better visualize. Uh, so that's another cool aspect as well. You also get DALI image generation. You can't generate images inside the free version of ChatGPT, even though you still have access to that GPT-40 model. You cannot generate images without being a paid, uh, paid subscriber to GPT+. And then lastly, you also get custom GPTs. I believe this is still not available to free users of ChatGPT. So if I come back here, I click Explore GPTs, if you're unfamiliar with custom GPTs, these are essentially pre-configured versions of ChatGPT designed for a specific use case. I apologize in advance, guys. I'm saying GPT a lot. Custom GPTs, GPT-4, 3.5, it's, it's becoming a tongue twister, so I apologize for that. But uh, you do get access to these custom GPTs on the paid tier of ChatGPT+. Um, so if you want, you know, for productivity, research and analysis, generating images, writing content, 
Uh, there's so many of these good ones here. I've actually created some of my own custom GPTs. Uh, I have a YouTube video optimizer that'll help me with uh, thumbnails, descriptions, tags, things of that nature. Um, so that's pretty cool when you can create your own custom GPT. And this is all part of the premium version of ChatGPT Plus for 20 bucks a month. Now, there are also other more premium options here. So there's a team plan. Um, so if you're in a company and you wanna pay for ChatGPT accounts for several employees, might be worth looking into the team or enterprise plans. That's for larger organizations who leverage this tool a lot. So let's say you don't wanna pay $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus, even after you just watched my initial thoughts, what you get with the free plan versus the paid plan, that's completely okay. Cause I'm gonna show you some alternatives here. If you don't wanna pay $20 a month, what you should be using instead in my opinion. And number one is Claude. Now, if you haven't heard of Claude by now, I'm a huge fan of this large language model. They're probably the top alternative to ChatGPT right along Gemini, uh, in my opinion. And the reason I bring up Claude is they just had a massive update where you can now access their most advanced model called Claude 3.5 Sonnet completely for free. They do have a prof professional plan, as you'll see up here, similar to ChatGPT Plus, costs $20 a month. It's basically for higher usage limits, similar to what we see with GPT 4.0 and ChatGPT Plus. Um, Claude is just, it's a great language model. They can't generate images. That's the biggest downfall. And they can't browse the internet in real time from my understanding. So anything dealing with uh, stock prices or, you know, current scores of a, a football game or a sporting event, um, you're better off using Gemini or ChatGPT Plus for something like that. Uh, but Claude 3.5 Sonnet would be my number one recommendation for a free alternative if you don't want to pay the $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus. My second recommended alternative to ChatGPT Plus would be Microsoft Copilot. Now I have several videos on my channel on Microsoft Copilot. This is essentially Microsoft's all-in-one AI chatbot. It can do a lot of the same functionalities that ChatGPT can do. It can even generate images using DALI. As you'll see on the right here, they have Copilot GPTs. If I click designer, you see here you can generate AI images right inside this platform for free. Now, I must admit the quality of these generated images using AI is not even close to what you'll see with Dolly inside ChatGPT+. Plus. Um, you can mess around with that if you don't believe me. I have other videos on my channel and I'll leave a link to the full comparison I have for Copilot versus ChatGPT where I get into that in more detail. Um, but regardless here, this is still a great free option if you don't wanna pay 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT+. Plus. Another thing to mention on Copilot is that they also have a premium tier for $20. I believe it's like Copilot Pro, or I don't remember the, the name off the top, right here, yeah, Copilot Pro uh, off the top of my head here. It is $20 a month. Do not pay for this. You're better off spending $20 a month on ChatGPT Plus instead of messing around with Microsoft's Copilot Pro. Just avoid this at all costs. So another alternative that you can use for free instead of ChatGPT Plus is Llama 3. So Llama 3 is the large language model owned and operated by Meta. So I'm on Meta AI, which is their interface for using Llama 3. Um, this is an open source model. It's not as good as GPT 4.0 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet or Claude 3 Opus, in my opinion. Um, but it is a viable option. You can also generate images as well. Now, you must have a Facebook account and be logged into a legitimate Facebook account in order to generate these AI images. Um, but I believe I can just start using this for free without an account. So, yeah, if I click, you know, create a packing list for a trip, just some random pre-configured prompt they had here, you can start using this right away without being logged in. So that is the third alternative that I would suggest using for free if you don't want to pay the $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus is Llama 3 inside Meta AI. Now, when it comes to images, if you want to generate AI images for free, you can use the Copilot Designer. So this used to be called the Bing Image Creator powered by DALI. You can generate AI images for free. Now, it is a freemium model, so you only have limited credits that you can use, um, but it is a viable option for generating AI images for free. I didn't have it pulled up here as I started, but another free AI image generator worth exploring is called Leonardo AI. Um, I have several videos on my channel about Leonardo AI. This is one of the better free AI image generators out there, in my opinion. Um, so again, if you don't want to pay that $20 a month to generate images with DALI inside ChatGPT+, Leonardo AI is a very quality AI image generator worth exploring. And I'll leave links to all the other videos that I'm mentioning that you guys can look into these tools for more details. But uh, wrapping it up, guys, again, going back to my original question and answer, is ChatGPT Plus worth it in 2024? My answer is yes, 
only if you're using this tool every day or even multiple times per week, I would say. If you're using ChatGPT once a week, I wouldn't recommend getting ChatGPT Plus. If you're using it three, four times every single day, yes, it's worth the investment. And again, $20 a month isn't a lot to most companies or individuals bottom line. And it, you'll get a massive ROI if you're using this tool correctly. Now, that is my final answer. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this updated video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel at AI Insider Tips if you haven't already. Appreciate you all if you've made it this far. I really hope this video helped answer your question. It's just a bummer that when you make these AI videos, they literally get outdated in a month, but yet they still get views. So I, I feel responsibility to keep you guys informed on the latest and greatest in AI. And I always want to tell the truth and be authentic in every single one of my videos. So I really appreciate you all being here. Again, like this video, subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you prefer ChatGPT, if you're using Claude Pro, or just what tools are you guys using and if you think chat gbt plus is worth that 20 dollars a month price point last but not least if you haven't gotten my free guide on the best ai side hustles in 2024 and beyond you can get that here below the video in the pinned comment or description i personally use some of these ai side hustles to generate more than five thousand dollars a month in passive income online and i show you how to do that in this free guide which you can find below this video so again, this is Ryan. Appreciate you all being here. I hope you all have a great day. And guys, let me know in the comments if you think ChatGPT Plus is worth it.